Good afternoon, friends. How are you all? I'm a total giddy kipper this morning. I've had so much fun this morning creating lots of video content. And guess what? I have the list and we'll talk about that in a second. My name is Tony Derrick and this is the How To Craft Network Studio. The best place to come, get a smiley face, some inspiration, cup of tea, coffee, whatever it may be. If you are not a subscriber, click that subscribe button. We are celebrating very soon 2 million views on our channel. How cool is that? So I must be doing something right. I don't know what, but we're doing something right. Between us together, we're doing something correct. So in today's studio, we're going to be doing some um, techniques from video requests. So you all know that we have our fabulous inspiration bubble and a lot of you have taken advantage of it. Hence why all of the emails now go in a wallet. So if you go to the inspiration bubble and you want to request me to do something, you put your email address in and the product code. It's, it'll take you through it. It's super, super easy. Tell me what you want. Well, I've got two here that I'm going to kill two birds with one stone, if you should. I don't like that terminology at all, but that is exactly what I'm going to do today. So you can request videos. So if you go to a product and you've bought it and you're wanting some inspiration, maybe you can't find a video that's particular to you or you're wanting something more from that product, you can fill it out, send it back. And I'm not saying I'll do it immediately. Like one of these is three weeks old and one came in today. So I get to them when I can, as you can appreciate. But we will do them and let you know when we have done them. So let's do a little bit of a shout out. We have Leslie, we have Maureen, we have Jan, Sue, Michaela. If you can share this video, please do so. Um, and let's just share the love of craft. That's what it's all about. So today I'm going to encourage you to pick up that brush. One of the lovely uh, emails is from a lady today called Leslie. I hope the lady is watching. If not, um, we do let you know when we do do a video anyway. So Leslie, she's put on here. I would appreciate some techniques for creating sunny skies. Ta-da! Um, and how to colour blonde hair. So Leslie, this is for you basically. I'm going to show you how to create some skies. And uh, in relation to colouring hair, we have the fabulous Sharon on our design team and Michaela, not Michaela, Michelle Golden. There are colorists. Michelle goes live most Sundays showing you how to do skin tone and hair. So make sure you are a member of our um, groups, the Eureka fan page and Stamps by Me and Stamps by Me USA and How to Craft Network and Have a Go and I'm Marla and Thirsty Brushes. <laughs> they're all free, just join them, okay? Um, so they're the coloring sort of ladies for that area. However, I'm good at backgrounds, I think. And then the other email is from a lady who said, please, can you do me a um, card using the Trust the Journey stamp set, which is this fantastic one here. And the lady from that one, I believe, is called Ali. So it's this one. So what a better way to incorporate them both. We have sunny skies and we have a hot air balloon. So let's get crafty, shall we? If the ladies are watching, uh, thank you for taking the time to email in. I am fulfilling your request. So if you do have any requests, let me know. Please don't all send me hundreds of requests because I'll have a meltdown and I've not got a Kit Kat to get me through. So, cup of tea. Let's do a sunny sky. Now I'm thinking because we're incorporating the hot air balloon, we could do a sunny sky over some water and we'll do the hot air balloon as if it's disappearing into the distance. How does that sound? So I have all of my gorgeous ink pads, well not all, but some of the colours which I feel might work nicely. But equally, if you don't have any of our products, calm down. <laughs> if you don't have any of our products, it's fine. Use what you've got in your stash. If you've got some nice ink pads you like to use, then you can dig those out. Uh, a couple of things to tell you about before I get messy. Oh, Leslie's on. Thank you, Tony. You're very welcome, sweetheart. So a um, couple of things to tell you about. Carl is live tomorrow with a brand new launch over on Create and Craft at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Um, 10 brand new stamps and TV have put together the whole show if you want to buy the whole show 10 stamps or they've done like a pick and mix where you can buy three if you just like three and then you can buy them as individuals as well so that's four o'clock tomorrow um, wait till Carly goes live because I think there might be some capped PMP um, within there as well and she's got some amazing happy hour deals so that's Carly then on the sixth Emma's got a brand new launch as well some cool stuff in that one to come to. You all love the last one. You're going to love this one too. Very similar, not in design, but as in papers and some vellum maybe this time on the 6th. And then I am with you on the 14th with a one day special just for Valentine's Day. So if you are wanting a lovely gift from your other half and you don't want perfume and you don't want 
um, chocolates. Maybe he might be able to buy you what I've got on the 14th. I'm saying no more. I will be doing some sneak peeks very soon. So stay tuned for those. I think that's all I've got to tell you. Let's get crafty. So I've got my spray bottle. I'm going to spray this. This is watercolour card. Now you don't have to have watercolour cards. You get better results with watercolour card, but you don't have to. So all of the items that I am using in show, you can scan the code and use the code SHOP9. It takes you to all of the products if you want to purchase anything, but equally sit back and just enjoy the show. That is what it's all about. So, oh, I forgot to tell you, did you see our new design team members? Oh, it's all a bit, it's all happening at Stamps by Me. So we've got two new design team members for USA, HSN. Ooh. As you can appreciate, my team are flat out, absolutely flat out. And it was starting to worry me, worry me a little bit about how much work they were, bearing in mind they have jobs too. Um, so me and Karen had a conversation and we um, headhunted two of the lovely ladies in our Eureka fan page. And that again is encouragement for our lovely viewers at home. If you are a Stamps By Me fan, and maybe you're not wanting to do design team work or anything like that, but you love a particular brand. I always encourage that you post your makes in these groups because as are the two ladies, we have lovely Susan Bingham and Susan Straw who've just been recruited and they were delighted. You can always say no, um, but if you post your makes in these groups, you might get spotted, okay? Not always do companies do design team calls. Um, last time I did a design team call, I think I had over 100 people apply and it, it, I felt really bad saying no, I only needed two people and everybody's work was amazing. So this was a better option for me. So we have Sue and Susan. So if you have seen them on our social media pages, go and say hello. Super exciting. Just take some work off the regular design team too. So let's get crafty. Let's get crafty. Oh, exciting. So I'm just going to spray this card here. Now this is what's going to give us like a very forgiving sunset I'm going for I mean you could do uh, a midnight sky onto some sea you could do tropical you could do water you could do grass whatever you want to but you need I like to wet my card and then I'm gonna grab um, I'm gonna go with Tiffany so let's get some color down here and then I've got my flat brush here um, and then I might spray this as well get this a little bit wet and let's get let's create like some sea motion shall we so i'm doing a a sun sky with a bit of sea on the base so let's get maybe to about let's go to there just less than half okay so get some color on there as you can see i've had a bit of pink on my brush pre and not wiped it very well tony such a scruff so angle your brush flat and uh like point on the side as well and that's going to give you sort of like a little bit of texture it would probably disappear to know anyway because it's what it's wet but just try and play around with a little bit of texture can you see there so i'm going to get my initial lay down first so that's that and then i'm going to go into a bit of yellow 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 <laughs> i'm just going to attempt to clean my brush off a little bit get rid of some of that blue or else I'm going to end up with a nice green. And then we'll pick up some of this yellow. And then we'll put some yellow in. Don't worry if you do get a green because we're going for sunset anyway. So a bit of yellow in here. And to start with, it always looks like a hot mess. But have the patience to see your card through. Now if your card's cockling and not sticking, put some water down, stick it down. There we go. So there we have a bit of yellow and I will intensify it a little bit then let's go oh pink why not eh? pink and then purple maybe so spray with some water now you can use your watercolors if you want to so and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to bring it down into that yellow and then we're going to get the appearance of like a sun sort of in the centre. Can we see it quickly coming together? Nothing fancy here. Get some more of that. And maybe distinguish the line. So where the sort of sun hits the water.
So, so far, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to dry it off. Get the initial colour down. Just play around with colour. That's what I love to do. So, I'll just try this off a little bit on the back. In fact, let's just move that over. Let me just clear my mat. <laughs> so, I've got it dryish. It's enough because I'm going to now add some, a little bit of definition now. So, um, minus some of the water. So let's go back in with our colour. Let's go, no, let's, oh, let's go in with a bit of ocean. So again, I am going to spray it a little bit. Just pop a bit of water under here. This just helps it stick down a little bit when it sucks up that water. So, and then I'm going to Sort of just intensify it a little bit here now so i'm not going to go all the way in oops a daisy this is sort of like going to just give it a little bit of depth a little bit of dimension super easy you can bring in more colour, less colour. And don't forget, if you do add too much, you can always bring it back with a white gel pen. Bring the light back. At the end of the day, guess what? It's a piece of card. It's a piece of card. So let's just clean our brush. Let's get a bit more of that yellow in there. No, I'm going to stay with the yellow. I've got enough on there. Let's get some of this purple in just to go enhance this top bit. And you're probably thinking, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like my own work. I hate my own work. I sometimes feel like that too. So don't put yourself under pressure, guys. It really, really, really isn't worth it. Let's get some, let's join this sort of like, can it make a little bit of a roundy moon? And just play around, drag, pull out. Drag, pull out. Straighten that line up a little bit because that will frustrate me a little bit. And then whilst it's wet, get some splats in that water. You can do it all over if you wanted to add a little bit of texture if you want to. But this just sort of like breaks up your pattern if you've got harsh lines. Just give that a se second to drink in. Let's just move this to one side for now. We'll just give it that ink the chance to drink up that colour and then we'll lift it out with that lovely bleaching tech, which is brilliant for our ink pads. <laughs> so let's just see if we can suck it up. There we go. So you can see now, if I did have any harsh lines, now totally broken it up. Got a few up in the sky as well, but it's all right. So let's just dry this one off. And I'm gonna trim this down, it's a little bit big.
Disney can add stars if you do a navy sky. We've done a bit of an aurora borealis sky before, you know. You could freehand paint some leaves in, toe, belly, toe, you know, with a black ink. Right, let's just trim this down a bit. Let's grab my cutter here. Just going to take some of it away. smaller masterpiece now which is looking quite cool so I'm going to get this stuck to a piece of black card first then I'm going to put it under my Eureka and then we'll work on that hot air balloon and then that's going to give the card make sure it's absolutely dry it's going to give my card the chance to flatten out just one second And I would paint a few, paint lots of different ones. And then you can pick the best of the bunch at the end. Just done a video today actually with this sort of technique for a different stamp. So you'll be able to see that soon. It's true what I say, isn't it? I absolutely live in this studio. I wouldn't be anywhere else though. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, let's just get this stuck onto. Um, a piece of black and then we'll trim it down. Has anybody else got a little bit of sunshine today? Because we've got a little bit of sun. It's very windy, but we have got a bit of sun today, which is pr really, really exciting. Let's see. And I'll just trim this down. And then we'll pop it under our Eureka to dry. So don't forget what I said about if you lose a lot of the uh, white space or the colour, we're going to add it back in with a gel pen. You can literally go back in and where you've lost your work, you can sort of re recover it. So don't worry about that too much. So let's just stick this under our Eureka for now. As you can see, I've already gone and dyke up the balloon. Oh, I'm warm today. Warm today. Heidi may be snow here in Massachusetts. Really? Are you staying in then, Heidi? Just crafting. Just staying in. Um, right, hot air balloon. Right. This is so cool. Look at how gorgeous this is. So this is the set. This is the set. So it's Trust Your Journey, and this is the one that the lady wanted me to um, showcase. Now, it's watercolored on the front of here, but there are options. Stamp it white onto black card. Gold embossing looks incredible. Uh, gems, which I'm going to do on this one, in the centers of the flowers, and a touch of color. But I wouldn't spend time coloring it all in fancy because it's floating through the air. So we don't want it to be clean. And, I mean, obviously, you can color it clean and precise. But it doesn't have to be, is what I'm saying. So let me just show you how I'm going to sort of approach this lovely hot air balloon. Super simple. Now, you could do all one colour wave. But I'm going to pull in my just little handy watercolour set here. I'm just going to add a touch of colour. Playing a drum set here. On me, that's the second paintbrush on the floor today. Never mind. So let's get some colour on here. Now I'm not going bright because I've got a sunset background. I want it to be floating away. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add. Now I don't fill out all of the petals. I just colour some of it and I always leave a little bit of white space within. Very carefree. Watercolour is carefree. It's very light, easy on the eye. So I'm just going to add a touch of purple ones. And then let's do some 
darker ones. Got a pink balloon today, but equally teal looks awesome. Isn't it just gorgeous, this balloon? It's so stunning. I've never seen a, a, a hot air balloon like this one before. It's got greenery in it. It does look like a bunch of flowers floating away. So let's get um, another colour. So pastels on this one. And I will add some green as well. I'll go for this tealy. And I'm just going to top drop some of the green into the areas where it's not like open leaves. I'm going to try and make my balloon look 3D also, so I need some black. which will give us the appearance of a grey. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a shadow down the left each side of each one of these sort of curves on here. And this will practically dry back to nothing. And this is going to make my balloon look like it's jumping off the page. You see how you just put that stripe in there? It'll disappear practically when I heat set it. So let's get a nice grey basket. Let's add some colour to the basket too. You have, you have your sort of wires as well, which you could just add a bit of colour if you wanted to. Very soft. I want it to be soft though, because my background is quite bright. So let's push this to one side. Let's dry this off. Just found the magnets. <laughs> I've been saying how the diver is pinching my magnets, I've just found them, they were stuck to <laughs> Anywhere but on my booming mat. <laughs> so you can see just casting that grey shadow down that circular sort of sphere there has given it that dimension, made it just look less flat. Now, to make this pop from the page, just seeing if I've got one to hand. Pen. If you take a black marker and just edge around, it'll not look so flat on my artwork on my page, but I haven't got a black marker. Anyway, so now we need some sparkle. So some sparkles, we have to do pink, don't we? So let's add some sparkles to the centres of these flowers. And this is why when we put this design together, I loved the openness of the flowers because it just lends itself to sequins, sparkles. And as you all know, I'm a bit partial to sparkle. I think the older I get, the worse I get, to be honest. What was that? Let me just read that, that um, lovely comment there. If you cut some of the flowers off and have off and had some small people stamps it would look as if they were in the basket yeah if you've got a people stamp or that's just giving me another idea if you fussy cut some of these flowers out and 3d them on top with some pads you would have a fluffy um hot air balloon with dimension
So I've gone pink with these ones. Oh, Pat says, lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you again, sweetheart. Lovely to see you all again. I'm back, I'm back. Things have eased off a little bit. I'm so excited about. So I'm on air on the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. So what does that mean? You need to tell the... <laughs> You need to tell your loved ones what you want for Valentine's Day because it's really, really gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> you need to save your pennies. Ask them for a nice treat. It's a box. <laughs> me and my boxes are. Eh? You will laugh. I just popped one on there. Oops, today is it one on there? And then just one more at the top, and then I think we'll. But yeah, cutting them out and 3 d them on, making a big full balloon would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? So we have the watercolour palette on a special offer if you haven't got any watercolours, which is the Thirsty Brush watercolour palette. Super, super amazing price. Normally 15 it's on 8 I think this went out in one of our newsletters, but you can shop the show, so just put Shop 9 and it will take you to all of the products. That's if you don't have any watercolours um, or you haven't got any ink pads or anything, but equally at £8... If you do want a set of watercolours in your stash, they are available. All items are linked to the show as normal, as you all know. Look at that. Oh, I've missed one. Oh, it needs one in the middle. Never mind. Just catches that light. So, so pretty. So let's start to build. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It needs to go on a white card now, doesn't it? You could do it as if it's just taken off, look. Let's get some detail in here, though. So we need some... Ooh, it's all very exciting. It's all a bit fancy. We need some splats, some white. You're all probably cringing, going, no, don't do it. Just a few, just a few. Could do with some sparkles in the sky, too, maybe. Remember, they do dry back to pretty much nothing. I think we could do with maybe some gold splats too. Perhaps I'll let that just dry naturally. Let me just grab my gel pen and my sparkle pen. So this is going to give us that reflection in the water with the sparkle. I'm not going to cover it all because it will be too much. Try and avoid my splats or else I'm going to end up with white all over. But I'm just going to take it to the line so it's like sparkly water. And then gel pen. And this is where you can really add that detail back in. Add the ripples. So you sort of like get the, and don't forget, you would always sort of get a little bit of colour in the water. As you can see, mine's completely white here. You see now, so if you add any harsh lines, you could also add a black fine line of pen in as well to add some more detail back in. But you would always get like a little bit of whatever colour's going on here, here. Just a tiny bit, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of yellow and I'm going to add it with my sparkle pen here. Not much. Just there, because it would come down. I can't see it on set. Just get, hopefully, you can see the yellow, so it looks like the yellow's in the water. We can bring totally, totally bring it back. Let's just clean that off. Let me just dry it. You do the white splats before you add it to the black card. I'm not spilling no beans. No way, Jose.
just gonna don't want to smudge them so let's just pop this back in our eureka sentiment we need Do you know what? We have kites in this set as well. You could do some black kites in the sky if you wanted to, but there you go. So I'm just going to add this to the base here, just in a black ink, but it would look nice in embossing powder if you'd if you want to do it in embossing. You can. Be patient and trust the journey. Now I like to give my balloon some shape. Now if you did two, you could sort of do one so half, so half was sort, so it was like as if two were setting off at the same time. You could absolutely do that, but I mean, where do you want to put it? So oh, I don't want to ruin my sunset sky, really. I think we'll go somewhere about, I'm going to do it on an angle, because they do seem to set off on a bit of an angle, don't they? But obviously you can do as you want. I'm going to do it off the page because it is going on a white card blank. And then let's just grab a piece of white. You know why I did that, don't you? Because I don't like this side as much as I like that side. But it's out of balance now because of my sentiment, so I'm going to have to go there. But you just bear that in mind when you come to build your lovely card. Look at that. We could do some birds in the sky. There we go. I'll leave it at that for now. You get the idea. How cool is that? So two things there for you. Sunsetty skies, tropical skies. Don't forget, though, and I don't want to do it because I've done it quite often, but you can do those silhouette flowers coming in from the sides as well. That gives it more perspective, more dimension as well. Add the hue in with your white gel pen and then hopefully using that um, lovely um, hot air balloon with diamantes and a light colour and that shadow with the grey makes it just look like it is just absolutely floating. But you can fussy cut and build onto here if you want to. If you wanted to do this whole area here twice and stick it on top to give it dimension, you could absolutely do that. You could get a pen and put birds in. You could put some little people in if you wanted to, like separate the basket. Absolutely gorgeous. One thing is absolutely missing though from this. What do you think it is? Think it is. There wouldn't be a balloon floating over that water without a shadow. Very quickly. There we go. And up, up, up and away. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Don't forget, if you want to see me do anything, I will try it if I can. If I cannot do it or it's out of my depth, I will forward you on to somebody who's better than me at it. Because let me tell you, I like to do backgrounds and things, but I can't. I'm not great at colouring. I love to try. But, you know, to get the best and the most out of the team here at Stamps By Me, you can absolutely use the facilities that are around you to gain as much inspiration as possible. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Don't forget tomorrow, Carla is live at 4pm with a brand new launch of Imala over on Creative Craft. Don't buy until the live show, though, because I think there's some capped PMP things going on for you. So don't forget the happy hour deals, too. So have a great day, everyone. I'll see you all later. Kit Kat. See you later. <laughs>